All right, so how to convert a for loop into a while loop and vice versa? Uh, let's find out through this example here. So we have this array. This array has the size five that I've uh, stored in this variable. And it has these elements, one through five. Simple enough, right? And what we want to do is iterate over all the elements in the array and print them out on the console, for example. So to do this, let's start with a for loop, all right? So we start with declaring an i, and then we start the for loop from zero, and it's less than n, exclusive, because we don't want to go um, to the sixth element. Remember, the, numer the indices are from zero through to n minus one. And then i++. Plus plus. All right, and inside here, well, we're just gonna print f percent d space and array of i. Simple enough, if we compile and run this, you're gonna notice that we, in fact, got the whole array right here. Nice. Now let's see how we can convert this into a while loop. So first things first, what we have to do is, well, still declare i, so let's consider that this, are, this is already declared. And we have to copy the initialization of i right here, right? Right before the while um, statement. All right, and then we type in while, and for the condition of the while, we copy the condition that was used in, for, in the for loop, right? So it's exactly the same thing. And then open and close brackets, and in here, the first thing we add is the printf. So whatever is actually inside these brackets, right? We actually just copy and paste that. All right, and at the end, um, remember to increment i because we don't want to iterate forever, right? So just increment i to make sure we are actually uh, going over all the elements. And for formatting purposes, let me just add a backslash n here. And if we try to compile and run this, we get this exact same result. Okay, amazing. Now, to convert this back into a for loop, you do the exact same thing, but backwards. So, you start with the for loop, uh, consider i as being declared, or declare it yourself if needed. So don't forget int i. Uh, so start with a for loop, we copy and paste the initialization of i, all right? Then we copy and paste the condition. It's exactly the same condition. And then we copy and paste whatever is at the end of the while loop, right? So i++. It doesn't have to be at the end, but most conversions will, uh, will have something like this here. All right, so just copy and paste that. And then in between the brackets, you copy whatever is inside the, it's between the open bracket and the increment, right? So just the printf in this case. Okay, and just for formatting purposes, let me copy and paste this printf. If we compile and run this, we get one through five. All right, and one last thing I want to uh, talk about is a different conversion. A different conversion between the for from the for loop to a while loop right so instead of doing i equals zero we do i equals well minus one all right so we start with uh, zero minus one we decrement this all right and then for the while condition well we still gonna have i less than n okay and then in between the open brackets we're gonna just have whatever is inside the for loop but this time, this time, well, we don't have to add the i++ at the end of the while loop. Uh, we might not want to do that because it kind of looks horrible right there. It's just an empty line with just i++, right? So to fix this, all you have to do now, because you've instantiated this with minus one, you can, uh, you can use the increment inside the condition, but make sure make sure you first increment the i before actually comparing it with n. So you're gonna have to do plus plus i. Don't use i plus plus, that's gonna destroy everything. 
use plus plus i and this way you're always gonna make sure that first i is incremented and then you're gonna check the condition like so so what's gonna happen here for example we have minus one and then first we increment i right so i becomes zero and then we compare zero with n which is five and is zero less than five yes so it's gonna continue and so on so if we try and compile this let me just add a printf again you will notice that we get the exact same result so this is the more compact way to uh, instantiate a to convert to a while loop all right thanks for watching and i hope this helped you understand how to convert from a for to a while loop and uh, back backwards all right thank you